This question asks you to describe the formation of an oxbow lake and it has four marks. Because it's a described question, we know that means that we've got to make four points. If it was explained, it would be two points, but because it's described, it's four. And I've highlighted describe the formation. Whenever you get a question which says formation, you know that means that you've got to um, describe the logical sequence. What that means is how it goes from being a, in this case, meander or bend in the river to being an oxbow lake. You will see it doesn't say to draw a diagram, but I would suggest with any formation question, whenever you are describing a landform at all, you always use a diagram. They're much easier to explain. And we always go in a logical order from uh, diagram one here over to four. That way you can um, describe things clearly and easily for the examiner. So if we have a look what we might write for uh, number one, it says rivers can erode laterally sideways. So we've used a key word there. That's great. Erosion at greatest at point A, and this is something to note when any ever you do diagrams, make sure that you label them A or B, or as I've done here, neck, loop. It's much easier to describe if you've actually labeled it with a, a letter or a number. So erosion is greatest at point A because this is where the fastest flowing water is. So I've actually described why the water is there. Uh, sorry, why the erosion is there. Deposition occurs at point B because this is where the slowest water is. So I've described uh, pictures one and two in, uh, in one go here. If we go on, uh, if a river already has a meander, a bend, again, keyword, this makes the meander wider, creating a loop. And I've labeled it figure three. Again, it's really clear for the examiner and it makes it much easier. Trying to describe a loop or the neck without a diagram is really difficult. So again, the diagram is really key. Number three, over time, the loop becomes wider and the neck becomes narrower. So again, I'm just describing that neck and the loop and it's easy if I've got a picture there. And then I've said that eventually the end uh, of the loop join. The meander or the bend is then cut off from the main river channel, as you can see in picture four over on the right, um, and it creates a crescent shape. So I've used all of the keywords there and I've said how an oxbow lake is, um, is formed. So to make it really clear, always, always make four points because it says four marks and it's a described question. Always use diagrams and do a logical sort of chain, a logical sequence from where the feature is starting to be formed right to the end where the fully formed feature is there.